problem. It's not it's not over involvement. It's lazy over involvement. Yeah, yeah. Hey, quick story time for you guys. I know you guys love this. So speaking of owners and playing basketball, I got to play basketball with Robert Sarver once. Actually, a couple of times, but. The one time, the first time it happened, we were playing three-on-three, three, and we used to always play uh, these half-court three-on-three three games before the games would start. We'd get there early, and it would be me, the video staff, the training staff, and we, and maybe sometimes Dan Marley. Sometimes, you know, we'd have these guest appearances from other people. But these were, like, really, really hard-fought battles. The loser would have his name written on the whiteboard inside, like got owned by a cowboy or whatever. Always fun, always fun. So one of these days, Robert comes down, full regalia, says, I want to play. And, you know, everybody else is just like, Ugh. and so he comes on the court. And next thing I know, these bastards made it so I'm matched up with him, right? So it's like, oh, I mean, you guard Robert. So I'm like, <laughs> what do you do? Do I go hard? If I play my game, I will, I, you know, it won't end well. If I let him just do whatever, I get yelled at, and then I get made fun of later on. Like, that's the guy that let Robert take him to school. So I kind of I, – I play this weird half-half, kind of when you're playing like – I know this is wrong, but usually when guys play against girls, you know, you don't want to go too hard, right? Because you don't want to be embarrassed, but at the same time, you don't – you know, don't you want to give a little bit of effort. Don't get fired at me. No, I don't. I don't need to do. I mean, that's that's a true sentiment. I said it's wrong, but that's a, that's a way a lot of people play. <laughs> and I'm not calling Robert Sarver a girl either. I'm just saying, you know, I, there, there's that kind of awkward thing going on. So Robert puts up a shot, and I have to control every ounce of me not to swat it away. He makes the shot. He starts to talk. I'm like, geez, right? So <laughs> next thing you know, he takes it in. And this time I said, I, I got to let him know. It's, this, it's not this easy. I block it out of bounds. We check back up. We play. They swing at him at the elbow. And I don't know why I said this. but <laughs> We used to have this defensive scheme in Phoenix. Uh, whenever we were guarding a team with a great post presence and there was someone who couldn't shoot, we would call Haslam. And Haslam meant let him shoot, sag off, make sure the entry pass doesn't wow. happen. And and you can you probably can imagine why we call it Haslam. Uh, so then Robert gets the shot, the ball at the elbow, and I say, Haslam. He takes the shot. He misses the shot. Everybody laughs. Robert looks at me and says, "Just remember, Haslam has a job." <laughs> and I said, I mean, "Oh I man! Know. Oh yes! Drop the mic!" Yeah. Drop the mic, Mr. Sarver. Yep. And what uh, happened that was months the, later? I'll tell you, Robert, has, has, he's really fast on his feet when it comes to thinking of those one-liners. He's got so many one-liners. And he got me with that one. He said, just remember, Haslam has a job. And I was like, I read you loud and clear, boss. <laughs> the best part, later on, everyone was like, he said that to you? I can't believe he said that to you. He's like, you guys heard it. And nobody said anything. You guys just sat there and let me take it. That is that is rough and and shots fired at uh, at Giannis Haslam who used to have a pretty good jumper. Yeah, this was so so he he actually started getting better after we started doing that, but the name stuck. Like it wasn't for Haslam specifically. It's like we're playing the Rockets. Chuck Hayes is on the floor. We're gonna say, okay, guys, we're gonna Haslam Chuck Hayes, and that's that was just the lexicon from then on. Um, he won, he another won funny story that's that kind shot. of. He, he he won the uh, yeah, the I mean, 2000 was it 2006 finals with that shot. It just seems very unfair to Haslam. I mean, it just seems like he could have chosen somebody right. better. The the the, the, the epilogue is the epilogue is after we traded for Shaq, and we were talking about this. I mean, literally immediately after we traded for him, we playing somebody, and we're talking about all right, guys. And if so and so catches at the elbow, and Mike was like. Uh, we're just going to let him shoot. We're going to sag off and make sure the empty pass doesn't happen. Shaq raises his hand. And uh, yes, Shaq said, don't you mean Haslam? And everybody just busts out laughing. It was a great moment. So you had 